Advent is a most wonderful time. People want to rush to Christmas and put up their trees and have their decorations and start playing, playing all the Christmas music and make this Christmas thing start long since October, September. People into Christmas already. Not me. Some people came to my house this weekend and said, but you have no Christmas tree. I said, no, we're in Advent. It's a wonderful time because this is the party before the party. And if you get to the second party before the first one, then you don't get the first one. And so we have a season before the season because we are preparing people to wait with joyful hope for what is coming. And what is coming is the birth of Christ our Lord. And that preparation is so important in our world today because, you know, the world has now understood that emotional intelligence is the ability to delay gratification. We will now figure out these things. We've been talking about sacrifice, fasting, delaying gratification, putting off things. We've been talking about this for 2,000 years. And, and there's a good reason for it. In the Advent season, as we wait with joyful hope on Christmas, we have time to contemplate the mysteries that the prophet Isaiah puts before us of desolation and restoration that the, the Israel was in this moment of, of absolute desolation as the Assyrians were taking over all the towns and all the countrysides around them, as they saw doom impending. Isaiah is looking at the certain destruction on the one hand and prophesying restoration on the other. And, and I suppose we could see ourselves in this context where Isaiah sees because if you look hard enough and you take the time to contemplate during the season of Advent you have to see the destruction that is all around us you have to see that our value systems are not what they used to be you have to see that we live in a country where where, where people are treating each other badly and, and, and it's becoming more and more hard and more and more normal you have to see that that we are, we are losing the sense of God, the sense of the sacred, the sense of the divine. You have to see these things. I've been in, in the prisons this weekend, and, and, and when I see the cruelty with which we are treating the citizens of this country, it, it's, it's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. And, and, and those who have done their crime as one, one part of it, but, but the, those who are in prison and innocent is another part of it. And the lack of justice. We have to see these things. And, and that's what Advent allows us to pause and wait to see. But, but that's not all we must see. Like Isaiah, we must see the hope that God brings. That if we wait in joyful hope, which is an active kind of waiting, then we have to see that God will bring a new heaven and a new earth. That, that, that the world will be renewed. That, that what we're going through is the birth pangs of a, new, of a new world and a new way of God being in the world. That, that the, the way in which faith has been eclipsed is only going to give way to a way in which faith will be restored. And that's what Advent allows. It allows us to see the stark challenge of, 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 of the world to faith in, in, in our time and, and, and for most of our life, all of our life, we will only see things getting worse. But, but God has a plan and God's plan has been worked in this. And our role is a simple, simple role. Stand erect. Hold your heads high because your liberation is near at hand. Do not look left. Do not look right. Do not give in to despair. Do not give in to the, the ways of the world. Do not give in to the whole force of culture that is heading against the kingdom of God. Stand tall and hold tight because God is doing something.